how does someone know they're not good or how does someone know that they're good? So in order to be good at something, you need to practice that skill. But in order to judge whether you are good at something, you just kind of need experience. Um, so if you work in software development for a long time and you don't exercise your design skills, you can still understand that you are bad at it over time. Like you get a more and more sense of just how bad you are. Whereas if you actually exercise those skills, you will, you'll get even more experience and you will see how bad you are compared to your idea of perfection. What do you think stops developers from really wanting? Because I mean, this is a common thing. Why don't you do design? I'm terrible at design. Or what, like when we do design sprints, it's like you tell people that at one point uh, you have to sketch and everyone panics. I can't draw, but it's like you can if you try a little bit. I think that is the, the gap between skill and experience. If you work in software development, um, you will, you'll come to understand what a good design looks like just by working with designers who are good. You will see designs that work, see designs that don't work, you'll get a good feel for what works. And then if you try that yourself, it won't be as good. You'll know from your experience that your, that your design is not, is not good enough, and, um, or at least feel that it isn't good enough. And that will put you off from trying in the future. There's no point, I can't design, you know, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't even bother. So the, the thing that a developer needs to do if they want to be, if, uh, uh, to be able to do the design at the same time is just practice, just do it. Do it even though you know that it's bad. Um, because over time, you will get good. Yeah. And you might still think you're bad, but that's fine. You're in the practice of doing it even though you think you're bad. But at some point in your sort of development career, um, I mean, I don't know, do you feel you're a good designer or a bad designer? Do you have a sort of view on yourself? I feel like I'm a really bad designer. And I think that's because I have a lot of experience and I have never personally really taken that leap in uh, progressing my skills, or at least on certain kinds of design. So, like laying out a web page, I, like, I, I know how to mechanically make the web page look like a design that I've been given, but I couldn't produce that design. Like, um, I, I don't have that visual imagination, but I know that that's because I haven't exercised that skill. Yeah. And places where I have exercised the skill in things more like user interaction, um, those places I feel like I do a better job. Yeah. You know, I, I, I know I'm not an expert, but I also know that I'm better than it not being done by anyone, if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, it's, it's, I suppose the thing which um, still frustrates me is that you're a developer, you've done development stuff for quite a long time. You know the process of learning. It's like once you've learned something, you realize that the kind of mysticism and magic that it takes to being good at something. Um, is just time, right, and time and effort. So as a, as a developer, like, I don't buy that I'm not creative. Like, yeah. writing software is a creative process. Absolutely. It just uses very different techniques to um, visual design or user interface design. Um, so uh, it's not the creativity that I feel that I like. It's just that time served doing the designs, seeing what was wrong, and going back and doing it. Like, you know, just practice, practice, practice. So, I mean, yeah, I do uh, agree that um, creativity, like there's a lot of creativity mm. in coding, but it's like, what is that thing that, that stops someone from wanting to explore? So there are several reasons why I might or might not want to go on to be the designer. One is just, um, like, practicality. If you have a designer that you can lean on, you know, why not? I mean, that, that, is a, that is a perfectly valid choice yeah. um, to say, you know, I don't have the skills, and rather than spending time getting those skills, I can just take someone who does have those skills and we can build a symbiotic relationship. Um, I don't think that's necessarily good long-term in your career. You should have some design skills. You should have at least an understanding of what the designer is doing. You should do some stuff. I also know that I, my time is limited. And I could spend the time honing my craft as a developer or as a designer. And for a lot of people, um, the choice will be just to stick with what you know. It's, uh, it's not even about like, natural ability. I think it's purely about comfort zone. So yeah, I, I know that I will get better as a designer if I try. And 
for me, it's just been that I've never particularly had the impetus to try, at least on visual design. Um, though more recently, I have been actually trying to be a better designer in less visual things. Like the VR stuff you've been working on, just more interaction design. Exactly. So uh, working uh, with WebVR, I have to uh, place things in a scene so that they uh, will make sense to the viewer. When things could be out of your line of sight, you need, uh, you need to draw people's attention to the correct things. You need to make things sure that things, it's obvious how to interact with things. You need to design your experience, understanding the limitations of uh, like the hardware and things. You don't want to yeah. have someone spinning around too fast. You don't want to have someone moving too much if the, if the headset isn't going to record the movement. Because um, there's a lot of things that will just make the, the user feel ill. So you have, you have design constraints as well as technical constraints, and you have to work to those. I guess the trick is just to plow on when you are, st when you are bad. <laughs> and uh, it's easier at the beginning of your career because you don't understand that you are bad. <laughs> and also you've got lot, the, the, so much patience in the beginning. And at the end you think, well, there's more to this stuff. <laughs> you have fewer bad <laughs> habits as well. Yeah. And I guess you also need the, the, the feeling of safety to put yourself out there with something that um, you're pretty sure isn't going to be good, but to be able to put that design out to your team and say, look, here's what I came up with and we can work on it in the future without feeling like you're going to be mocked or ridiculed by your teammates. Yeah. Um, so just having a supportive team uh, can help. Because I think so much of design is so much, it's problem solving, right? Yeah. So, um, so many people forget that when they think of design, they think of the finished product but there's so many different stages of how you got to that finished product. Yeah.